Welcome back, family, to Northside LDN, and today Portugal qualify for the Euros 2024. So, filho da puta, here we go. We beat Slovi Slovakia, Slovakia three two. Filho da puta, ninguém fuge, ninguém fuge, ninguém fuge, ninguém fuge, ninguém fuge. I'm your mate, I'm your mate, I'm your mate. I'm your mate, ninguém fuge, ninguém fuge, ninguém fuge, filhos da puta. I got my bandera right here. What time it is it today? What a performance, what a striking performance, attacking performance from Arsenal today. Arsenal, I'm so used to saying Arsenal. Portugal, we're not talking about Arsenal today. We are not talking about Arsenal today. We're talking about Puig, Portugal, got to get, you know what I mean? Got to represent, got to do this properly today. I can't even lie, even Ronaldo had a decent game. Even Ronaldo had a good game. Had a brace today, scored two goals. Very good from Ronaldo. Could have had more. Could have had more goals, more opportunities. We definitely under Martinez look a lot better going forward, attacking better than the last previous manager that Portugal had for the Selassie. But today is very good performances all round. We do need to sharpen up defensively. I think at times when... Slovakia were hitting us with long shots. A lot of the times it went in the back of the net. We could have done better to defend. I think Palina should have done a lot better. We need to work on closing our man down, not allowing teams to have shots at our goal out, outside of the box and closing our man down. But ultimately, very, very good performance. You know what I'm saying? We're going to the Euros, caramba, yeah? Hopefully, armpits in the air. Armpits in the air. So, finish that puta. Let's get into the game. Because I felt like Gonzalo Ramos did very, very well. He could have had three goals. You know, he scored a goal. He opened it up with a goal. He did well to get his to get his uh, first goal. I think he did very, very well. Ronaldo had a brace, scored a penalty. Also had um, another opportunity put on the plate from Bruno Fernandes. I think Bruno Fernandes had a very, very good game. Always looking to, to find the, the, the front four. Um, always looking to attack and create things from deep. Spamming crosses into the box. I think Bruno Fernandes did very, very well. Bernardo Silva kept us ticking. Also provided us with width down that right-hand side. Rafael Leal. I know some people may that haven't watched the game may not highlight Rafael Leal today. Rafael Leal today was 10-10. My guy, you know, and he's half Angolan just like me. You know what I'm saying? Isu, that is what I want to see, bro. The guy was always looking dangerous. Running down the wing. At the end of the day, Slovakia at the end had to start hacking him and bringing him down and getting fouls. He was drawing fouls. He was taking his man on, creating options, playing off of Ramos. I think Ramos, it took a, it took a while for Ramos to start understanding that Rafael Leal was looking for the one-two. And he played immense. Today, Rafael Leal made so much happen. So much happening. He offers so much. And that speed as well. The guy is techie, bro. Not only can he beat you on a one-on-one, -on -one, he's also fast. He offers you width. He's fast. He's direct. He doesn't ponder on the ball. He doesn't play it backwards, sideways. Plays it safe. Esto me tropa, esa ahí. Esto me tropa. You know what I mean? This is what I wanted to see. Because under the previous manager, we're playing Sam Ale The Portuguese Sam Aladici. That field that puta had us hanging back. And Portugal got so much quality. I'm so happy to see. Portugal using the attacking quality that we have. Bruno Fernandes providing and creating things for Ramos, for Ronaldo, for Leal. Bernardo Silva also playing very, very well, offering us width, creating things as well. Rafael Leal creating, you know, um, issues down that left-hand side. Um, Gonzalo Ramos, I do think there's certain aspects to his game that can improve. But one thing is, he's, he's definitely a goal scorer. He knows where to be in the box. His anticipation of the ball is excellent as well. Balinha, I think, actually played very, very well. One thing from Balinha I'd like to see less of is being too erratic. At times, he's a bit too erratic, likes to dive in too much. Sometimes, calma, Mofilu, calma. Not everything has to be a slide tackle. But ultimately, I was very happy with Balinha's performance. I think he played very, very well. Um, the only two things I would, the only two gripes I had about Balinha was um, every time Slovakia had a shot outside the box, sometimes he wasn't closing down his man. He wasn't shielding that defence. He wasn't helping out the goalkeeper. I do also think that Diego Costa, the goalkeeper, could have done a lot better for the two goals that Slovakia scored. I definitely think he could have done more and could have done better. But ultimately, I'm here. 
with the whiskey and apple juice, you know what I'm saying? Thumbs content, thumbs are celebrated. They are me a bandera aqui. And it's definitely happy days, you know what I'm saying? Big Portugal. Let's win another Euros, man. You know what I'm saying? Let's win something. Because Arsenal are definitely not winning nothing for me this year. You know what I'm saying? But also as well, Antonio Silva, the centre-back, the young centre-back from Benfica, played very, very well. Did really, really well. Um, he's only, what, 18, 19? And um, you already know, Benfica's talent ID is 10-10. I think he was very composed. A lot of times he saved us. And I think Ruben Diaz right next to him is a perfect blend. You know, at the end of the day, we've got the option. We've got Ruben Diaz that can play next to him. You can play Ruben Diaz also with Inacio, that is a centre-back for sport in Lisbon. He's another one that could play. He was part of um, the team that, that beat Luxembourg 9-0 in our previous game. I wanted to go for the same lineup. The only change I wanted was Cancelo for Semedo, and I will pick up the manager for doing that. I think we look a lot better with Cancelo on that right-hand side. He offers a lot of width. He offers other options going forward. He releases Ronaldo on that right-hand side and gives him more options to play off. I didn't want to start Ronaldo. I'm going to be completely honest. I feel like we don't need to play Ronaldo when we beat Luxembourg 9-0. And I know a lot of people are going to say, oh, but it's Luxembourg. At the end of the day, that is our biggest win in our in, in the history of the Portuguese national team. I think we played very, very well. And defensively, we were solid and we created a lot more. When you put Ronaldo in this team, you take out Diego Jota. When Diego Jota come in in the second half, you can see the effect of Diego Jota. He's a lot more energetic. He can beat a man. And he's a lot more clinical. I think Ronaldo today missed a lot of chances. Yes, he scored the penalty. Yes, he scored one of the goals. But the amount of chances that he flopped, for me, I don't. I, I still feel like Ronaldo's best is behind him. I'd, I'd rather play Diego Jota and um, just use Ronaldo as an impact sub at best. You know what I mean? I think Dalot as well played very, very well today. Um, not overlapping like Cancelo was on the right-hand side. Dalot on the left-hand side was a little bit more reserved and wasn't overlapping as much. But I was very happy with his performance. Um, sometimes he can get caught out of position a little bit and Ruben Diaz was cleaning up for him. But overall, estamos contentes. Estamos contentes, estamos felices. Honestly, I'm just happy that we're through. I'm just happy that it's done now. We have qualified and that is it. You know what I mean? Now we can start focusing on the Euros. I definitely think that the balance of the team... It, it's decent, but I also think that we need somebody to help Paulinha. I think at times when we were getting, you know, overloaded in the counter-attack, it's because Bruno Fernandes doesn't track back. You know, he's not somebody that's going to help Paulinha defensively, and sometimes Paulinha is going to get overrun in that midfield. Um, and I think when you add Jota into this team instead of Ronaldo, I think we're a lot more versatile. I think we're a lot more potent. I think we're a lot better with Jota in the team. But right at the start of the game, Ruben Diaz wins the ball on the break. Ronaldo gets the ball, shoots outside the box, and it goes wide. And this is why I say that Ronaldo is past his best. Those kind of shots going wide, a lot of shots from Ronaldo going wide, you know, and he was in the box, you know. It's, and, and this is why I think the chances, some of the chances that Ronaldo had, if Jota was starting, I think most of those goals go in. Most of the opportunities that Ronaldo has, I think they go in if, if Jota was playing. Barlinha with some excellent interceptions, and I definitely think in the first half he was really controlling the midfield. Second half, he definitely started to lose that midfield and started to lose that control. I can definitely say that. Um, Gonzalo Ramos uh, wasn't reading Rafael Leal at the start of the game. Rafael Leal didn't have the lock that could overlap him on the left-hand side, so he was trying to play one-twos off of Ramos, and Ramos wasn't giving him the ball fast enough. He was playing quick one-twos to try and lose the fullback that was marking Rafael Leal. And Ramos was struggling with that at the start. But as the game grew, he definitely grew into it and started to understand what Rafael Leal was trying to do and create space that way. Um, because Rafael Leal couldn't rely on the lot because the lot wasn't giving him an option by, you know, running past him in the, in the first half and giving him that option by running the channels. Um, Bernardo Silva lays off Bruno, who has a good shot saved. Very good shot. That shot was going to go top bins by Bruno Fernandes. Um, Slovakia with the cross. It hits our defender, Antonio Silva, and then it smashes off the post. And in the first half, that was as close as they got to our box. Other than that, they sat back and we were moving the ball very, very well. The way we were moving the ball and dictating the game and the tempo. And um, we were just peppering their goalkeeper with shots. And I was, I was very happy about our attacking display. When it comes to defensively, there's definitely things that we need to work on. But when it got, this this manager has definitely took off the handbrake for Portugal and is allowing Portugal to play more free flowing football and dominating the team and dominating possession and push putting the game to the opposition. Yo estou contente. É isso mesmo. 
Estamos aqui para ganhar. Estamos aqui para dominar o jogo. Yeah? Não estamos aqui para gastar tempo. Isso não é Inglaterra. Isso é Portugal. Estamos aqui para ganhar. Não brinque. You know what I'm saying? So big up for the manager for that. Because I think attacking wise, I think he got it spot on. Um, Bruno Fernandes with a cross into the box. And Ramos heads it in. 1-0 to Arsenal. Cancelo put the Slovakia player on his ass. Then has a great cross into the box. But Ramos cannot get enough power to his header. And the goalkeeper saves it. Uh, Ruben Diaz was doing very well, cleaning up at the back. Cancelo did very well, overlapping on the right-hand side. Portugal got gifted a penalty by a handball from Skriniar um, when we tried to when Rafael's Rafael Leal had a cross into the box. Skriniar puts his arm out. Portugal get awarded a penalty. It's given to the captain Ronaldo, and he scores it. And it is what it is. It is what it is. I mean, at the end of the day, he's a the captain. They want to take the penalties. And um, yeah, Ronaldo puts it away and it's Sue. And um, it's Sue time. For me, even the Sue hasn't got the same energy as before, man. This guy's getting old. Like, honestly, I don't I don't understand why Ronaldo is a starter, if I'll be completely honest. But I love Ronaldo, but I just think he's past his best and he misses a lot of opportunities. But props where props is due. He's still my guy and he buried the penalty. Do you know what I'm saying? Vamos. Forza Portugal. Then... Rafael Leal kept driving forward, driving fouls, pressing from the left-hand side. Ronaldo lays it off to Ramos in the box that hits it straight at the goalkeeper. Rafael on the counter-attack gives it to Ronaldo, who gets into the box. Open goal and Ronaldo puts it wide. And this is what I'm saying. These are the fine margins. When we go up against better teams, of all due respect, Slovakia, they're not a top, top team. Let's keep it real. When we're going up against top, top teams, Ronaldo missing from an open goal in the box, those are opportunities that are going to cost us. If that was Diego Costa in that position, like we played against L uh, Luxembourg, then we we definitely put that away, you know? So for me, I don't want to be starting Ronaldo. I really don't want to be starting Ronaldo because I definitely think he's past his best. Um, Rafael Leal, um, sorry, R Ronaldo shoots, it goes wide. Ramos gets a leg to it, tries to keep it in and push it into the goal, but it hits the post. Uh, across into the box, Ronaldo with a bicycle kick just before the end of the first half, and it goes over the crossbar. Second half, we were definitely pinned back. We saw Slovakia pushing us back to our box. They were imposing themselves. They were 2-0 down. They were trying to fight and get into the game. Um, Slovakia take a shot outside the box and score. No Portugal player closes them down. And for me, not only did Balinha could do better... The centre-backs could have done better as well, that closing down the angle. And the goalkeeper has to do better. These long-range shots, he's got a lot more time to react to it, and he's not reacting to it. And for me, if he's going to continue, I'd rather, Pat um, I'd rather Patricio. I'd rather Patricio be the goalkeeper. If, if, if Diego Costa is going to be allowing these, these kind of shots, it's not completely his fault, because the defence as well is not doing their job and closing the player that's taking the shot. But this ain't good enough. Defensively, it ain't good enough, I'll be completely honest. Uh, Bruno Fernandes with the low cross into the box. Ronaldo's in the far post, hits it in and makes it 3-1. Um, Bruno Fernandes with a shot straight at the goalkeeper that is saved. Slovakia with another long shot from outside the box. No one closing down once again and it makes it 3-2. And where was Balinha? Balinha nowhere to be seen. Centre-backs ball watching. The goalkeeper, I don't know what the goalkeeper was doing. Ultimately, this is where the manager needs to make some, some big calls. Some big, big calls. Jao Felix, when he came on, he was absolutely sourcing. Gives us way more control in the box. He was also willing his jewels, running back, tracking back, winning the ball, taking the ball from, from defence, transitioning it back up to attack. Great performance from Jao from ja Felix, I feel, like when he came on to the pitch. Bruno Fernandes and Felix, great one-two, playing off of each other all the way into the box. Bruno lays it to Felix and Felix hits it wide. You've got to be scoring those chances. I definitely feel it. He has to be scoring those chances. But Felix just looked like up for it. And maybe that's the confidence that he's getting at Barcelona now that he's at a team and at a club that he's sourcing at again. Um, Jotter in the box, takes on three players, gets into the box, takes a shot and it's saved. He should have scored. He's one on one with the goalkeeper. He did so well to get into that position. He definitely has to score. But overall... Estamos aqui, família. Estamos aqui em Portugal. Estamos juntos. Estamos aqui. At the end of the day, look, there are question marks I have about this manager. I think attacking-wise, he completely under... I think he understands how to play this team, allow them to be fluid, 
allowed him because at times Bernardo Silva was out on the right, other times was going more central. Uh, Bruno Fernandes as well, creating a lot. Um, Rafael Leal was on the left, but sometimes he went a bit more central. Ronaldo at times went wide, certain times he went back in, making us a lot more fluid in the attack, harder for the opposition to dictate what we're doing. Um, but defensively, we need to we need to resolve that that midfield balance defensively. I think sometimes Balinga is not getting enough help. Rafael Leão did very very well tracking back. Bernardo Silva did all right. Bruno Fernandes needs to track back a little bit more and help out defensively. I know he, he he's more of a creator, but he needs to help out Balinga. I think sometimes Balinga can get overrun in the midfield. There's always other players that we can play like Danilo Pereira that plays for PSV. Um, sorry, plays for PSG in France. Uh, he's 32 years old. The only problem with him is he's not that rapid, so he can get done for pace. But um, we definitely need to help out Palinha if we're going to go with Palinha. I definitely want to continue with Palinha. Iepa, come Zaki! Ninguém foge! Ninguém foge! Ninguém foge! Ninguém foge! A minha mãe! A minha mãe! A minha mãe! A minha mãe! Ninguém foge! Ninguém foge! Ninguém foge, filhos da puta! Come Zaki! You know what I'm saying? Vamos ganhar do win. And we need to win. You know what I'm saying? We need to win. Yeah? Big Portugal. Yeah? We're at it. You know what I'm saying? We are at it. You get me? Yeah? Big Portugal. End of the day, we're, we've qualified. Let's move on. But this manager does need to work on us defensively. Like I said, I was very happy with the team for Luxembourg. Just change Cancelo on the right-hand side. Play the same team. We won 9-0 against Luxembourg in our last game. We didn't need to change that much. Going, you know, trying to accommodate with Ronaldo, playing Ronaldo and Ramos up front, you take an extra body out of midfield and you can see it leaves us more vulnerable in the attack. I think it's better to go back to the team that we had against Luxembourg. Add Diego Jota into the team. We have more bodies in the midfield and will look a lot better defensively and attack because you need a balance. You can't be all guns blazing and you can't be too defensive. So that is how I feel about it. Familia, make sure you like and subscribe. Hit the bell notification. Tell me if you like the game. Tell me your thoughts about the game. Tell me if you see the highlights, what you make of this Portugal team. We definitely have a lot of talent. Rafael Leal, Gonzalo Ramos, Ruben Dias, Antonio Silva, Cancelo, Paulinha, Bruno Fernandes, Bruton, uh, Bernardo Silva, we definitely got to, we got a lot of uh, talent. Inicio, we got too much talent. Pedro Neto didn't play today. You know what I mean? Ruben Neves, there's so much talent in this Portugal team. And I just hope that the manager gets the right balance. And I think he needs to go back to what got us uh, a, an incredible result against Luxembourg. Make sure you hit the like and subscribe. I'm out, familia.